Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com, a new build video to look at. This is 18329 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. I had a few problems getting this build installed on my Surface Pro 3, which is the machine I use to do the recordings. But I did get it working on my Surface Go, and I'm actually remote controlling my Surface Go. So this is my Surface Go that I'm using VNC just to connect to. So that's why the screen refresh is a bit slow and uh, it's dropped some of the colors as well. It's trying to install now, so hopefully I'll have this installed and back to normal for the next videos. But I still wanted to do this video because I wanted to show a couple of new things. Well, the main thing is we've got this really fine um, look in the search mode. Now remember search and Cortana are split, so there's Cortana over there, there's search. And here you get the top apps now, and you've got this um, new design of, of search so here you can see my top apps ones that I've used the most which is probably true and uh, yeah I think that looks quite good it's a lot neater than the than the previous version that's something which I can't show you yet because I'm waiting for Microsoft to release the slow ring so I can upgrade my gaming PC which includes mixed reality is the ability to run full Windows 32 apps within mixed reality. So I can't show you what that looks like because this Surface doesn't run uh, Windows mixed reality. This Surface Pro 3 actually does in developer mode. So I can show you that on a, on a future video. What I'm hoping to do is to, is to show off uh, these all these changes in a separate video when they release a slowing build. I don't know why I've not had a slowing build, it takes a while. But what it means is that you can, previously in mixed reality you could open UWP apps you could open games, you could UWP apps, you can in, interact with them within your mixed reality environment. And now they've added support for Win32 apps, so you could load Word, you could load Visual Studio, Photoshop, whatever you want will be there. It's, it's beta support, but that's um, good to see that. So I'll do a separate video on that soon. Also in this build, they've added some new language support and updated the mail and calendar, so it now supports dark mode as well. So we've got uh, dark mode in mail and, and the calendar apps. It's funny because I'm not really using dark mode anymore. I use light mode because of the new light mode that was introduced. Um, but dark mode is an option and uh, let me show you. So I'm using light mode. It's funny actually, I'm using light mode. They just add dark mode for the mail app, but I prefer using the light mode to be honest because it's uh, it just works better on my Surface uh, Pro, I think for me. Uh, there we are, we've got dark mode. I'm going to switch back to my favourite mode, light mode. And the mail app now respects that. Now the rest of the changes have been fairly minor. Um, they fixed issues with 32 apps having a long la launch time. Uh, it was in the previous build where the, the um, task was suspended. They fixed an issue with update security, preventing the narrator and screen reader reading certain screens. They fixed issue where de desktop manager would crash. Uh, they fixed issue with video playback going black on when you rotated. Um, they fixed some USB issues which were in the previous build, so you can plug the mouse and keyboard in. And um, they fixed some issues with the Microsoft Edge. There's still quite a lot of known issues, so we know this is not the final version. Um, they still can't use the Creative XFi sound cards in their uh, reset p PC. Is still an issue. Uh, some real tech SD card readers might not work. Some narrator issues. Um, so there is quite a few, uh, still quite a few issues in this. But I found these previous builds have been really stable and no issues with with them at all, uh, apart from getting this build installed on my uh, Surface Pro 3. So I'm sure I'll have that back to normal by the by the time we get to the next build. So thanks for watching this video. You can uh, this was 18329 for Windows Insider on the fast ring and skip ahead if you're on that option, and uh, look out for the next video.